Hey, shalom Akim, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukwak Adash, to all those in salutation to the elders and apostles of Great Mishnah, Ruh Welsman, and Asher DC Camp, with another lesson to edify the hope for elect. And, uh, I mean, Akim shouldn't uh, be upset, you know, really, you know, when you have uh, situations of uh, <laughs> ease or, uh, you know, messing around with your channels, right? So just have to, uh, Suffer patiently, you know. Say suffer. I mean, persevere. All right. Yes, you have to accept it. All right. The Lord already knows you're gonna be angry, so you shouldn't, uh, you know, get bad out of shape. You have to keep it moving, because what's what was uh, prophesied, you know, before we set foot upon the face of the earth. All right. So it's beautiful to see the prophecies come to pass. All right. The prophets of old had problems too. All right, so you shouldn't be surprised that, uh, you know, you're going to go through the same thing. You know, you're coming back in your lot. All right, the spirit, you know, the spirit of the Holy Scriptures talks about, uh, you know, the, the spirit of the prophets is subject unto the prophets. So, if you had difficulties in the past preaching the gospel because of, uh, you know, the miscreants of this world, you know, you expect that to happen again. All right, so that's... Uh, that's a lot, you know, that's a cross we need to bear, all right? The Lord had difficulties too, preaching the gospel, you know, at certain times, but his message still went out, all right? So it's not always when you want things to happen, things will happen, it's on the most high schedule, all right? So nonetheless, you know, you shouldn't, uh, you know, you shouldn't be upset, you know, really, you should be glad that the Lord, the Abba Shema Shai, already told you. These things are gonna happen. We're all gonna happen before, before you know, before you did it. All right. So even before you started putting out videos, you already knew that you're gonna experience <laughs> things like that. So you should be glad that the Lord the Abba Hashem is dealing with you. All right. So uh, you just also remember that uh, when the words was being preached, you know, in the ancient times, the internet wasn't really there. The Lord always had angels out there to do his bidding and to wake people up all right so in this time that we're living in the lord used the the the, the internet all right and for those that didn't even have a chance to get online and the uh they met the brothers in spirit and truth it's that simple so it's a combination of spreading the word online and people just meeting you know in person and all that, you know, word of mouth, he also has his, uh, its its purpose, all right? But the, the majority of the word, you know, that folks are going to wake up is through the internet, all right? That's how, it's, that's how the spark, you know, gets bigger, all right? Even before the internet come, came, you know, the, the, you know, the elves were already there, you know, the, you know, from the old school, they're already there preaching the gospel. So it's very important that we in the last days understand that you know things like that shouldn't catch us unawares because you know there are times you know I'll put a video it doesn't talk, I'll put the lesson it doesn't get out there because Esau keeps you know you know closing it up in a system You're waiting for five minutes ten minutes twenty five minutes an hour and then you just realize you know what you're moving on. You know, you can't just sit down there and wait for videos to go up. You have to move on to the next chapter. You don't want to be stagnant, right? That time that you wish to wait, you can always use it to do some other things, all right? So that's one thing I've learned, you know, when you uh, watch the elders, watch the apostles, you know, you talk with brothers in the camps, you understand that this is a journey, all right? And the journey doesn't mean that you're going to stay in one spot, you're going to move from city to city, from one camping spot to the other, from one channel to the other. So it's beautiful. All right. So this is uh, the book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 14. It says, let me start from verse 13. It says, My son, eat thou honey, because it is good. All right. This knowledge is profitable for you. All right. It has uh, some excellent benefits. And the honeycomb, which is sweet to thy taste, so shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul. And that's exactly 
what counts. Once you've got the knowledge and you've, and you've uh, accepted it and you're holding on to it, that's the point. That's all it is. The seed has already taken root, you know, in the fertile ground. All right. And then it says, when thou hast found it, then there shall be a reward. You're going to be growing in the spirit. Okay. And the Lord by Shema Shai is going to let you know that uh, it's important to share the gospel. You know, some folks will not get have all the reach the other brothers have. But as long as you able to do your, your, little, your, your little portion of it, that's about it. You know, everybody has his own lot. All right. Then it says, and that expectation shall not be cut off. All right. So the expectations that you have, and you know, it's not really yours, it's of the Lord. All right. So whatever the Lord, the Abba Shema Shah has given unto you, that's what you're going to have. You're not going to have less than that. You're not going to have more than that. All right. Your lot is your lot. All right. So you should be glad that you woke, that you, that you woke up, man, that the Lord woke you up. All right. Because it's beautiful to have this knowledge and the Lord already told you they're gonna it's gonna be sweet in your mouth and also bitter in your belly all right so you gotta understand the sweet and the bitter all right so uh, another precept is gonna be from the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 it's always about the basics all right most of the time you know, I say most, I mean 99.9% of the time. It's always about the basics. Alright? So it says, uh, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Alright? So the Spirit of the Lord, you know, has to be activated for certain things to take place. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where so I send it. All right. So you already know the end. You know the beginning. You're in the middle of things right now. So you should understand the direction you're heading in, man. You know you already see it. You see everything in the scriptures. All right. You see it clearly. All right. So when you have some people that piss you off, you just have to understand that it's just part of the territory. You know, you're tearing down Esau's kingdom. So how do you expect Esau to feel? You know, how do you expect him to come against you? You know, don't you think Esau is going to harass you? Don't you think it's going to make your life uh, unbearable at some point in time? All right. Even in the United States, when you hear about that three strikes law and all that stuff, you know, they use it against Drake, you know. So you shouldn't uh, forget, man. That the Lord Yah Bashima Shai set this thing in motion in order to prove to you that Esau is about to go down and that uh, you're about to be elevated. Okay? So, book of Psalms, chapter 138, verse 2 says, No, it's not verse 1. The Psalm of David, I will praise thee with my whole heart. All right, so you gotta make sure that you're hundred percent with the Lord. All right, you, you can't afford to falter or fall by the wayside. All right, before the powers, all right, before the judges, will I sing praise unto Thee? I will worship toward Thy holy temple and praise Thy name for Thy loving kindness and for Thy truth. All right, so you shouldn't forget about this precept. All right, whatever you know you're going through. Always have to remember, praise the name of the Most High for His loving kindness and for His truth. That's, you know, His mercy for you to be able to handle this knowledge and to hold on to it. That's a blessing right there. So you should be glad that you have that. Not that many people have been given that lot. Alright, so it's a, it's a prestigious endowment that you've been... Uh, you you know you've been invited to that that's been given to you all right for thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name and that's what it is all right you're speaking the word of the lord you're holding on to it that's that's very very special you know that's very very you know uh i would say very dear to the most high's heart all right so that what he's giving you is much more 
he holds that dearly than his name. You know, he holds that dearly because the Most High has already told you that his words are pure words. You know, so when you hold down to that, what do you expect is going to happen to you? It's got to purify you. All right. So, um, uh, I think that's about it, you know, just to make sure I can, you know, that uh, expect more, you know, more pushback from ESO, man. Whether it's from YouTube, whether it's from your so-called local TV station, expect that to happen. They even have one of these so-called uh, TV reporters, <laughs> you know, you know, the child, you know, you know, uh, have a chit chat. I'm like, you know, I don't know what this guy is doing in the neighborhood where I, where I used to work. <laughs> but I guess he turned his mind because you know how these reporters are, man. They get a scoop on where brothers stay, you know, because uh, once they have uh, birds, you know, start chirping in their ears, you know, they're just going to stop to talk to you at the grocery store. <laughs> you know, if you're pumping your gas. You know, they bring out that camera and all that stuff. It's that, you know, <laughs> interviewing you just like they got Johanna. <laughs> so you just pray the Lord, you have that shimmer shine, you know, strengthens you. And that's how you remain true unto the end. And that's the, 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 the you know, the, the crux of the whole matter. You get up happy that the Lord, you have that shine. I already told you these things will happen. And that's, uh, your joy will remain in the Lord Yahweh Shai because you're already accounted for. Right? So you have, there's nothing for you to lose. You know, you're in the winning brackets. So that's the point that I can hope you've been edified. And the pray Lord Yahweh Shai, I shall continue to strengthen your resolve in these last days because you're going to need a, <laughs> a lot of faith to uh, tackle all these obstacles that uh, Esau keep throwing in your path because our people don't understand man the difficulties that we've been experiencing were made to keep us uh you know humble and uh and prepared for these uh times of difficulties for these times of tribulation all right because a lot of people they may be prepared financially but spiritually they're not all right so once you're able to prepare yourself spiritually everything else just comes in all right second nature so that's the point here. I can hope you may edify. Pray, Lord, the Abashim, Asha, Abashim, Kokodash, continue to uh, bless you and make you see you know, the, the situations you're dealing with. Shalom.